down here at the shop uh, getting things cleaned up. Got one of my athletes, Ricky, working with me, trying to get these floors cleaned. Um, you know, we talked recently on BGS's channel about providing jobs to those who need it and, or no, the difference between somebody doing or possibly doing something wrong or having ill-gotten gains is the fact that they don't have jobs and opportunities, which I do firmly believe that is the case. But I also believe in, you know, um, the individual making a choice and taking it from there. So one of the things I want to do is start creating more businesses where I can have workers, start creating more opportunities for myself that also trickle down to others uh, in terms of like getting more work and then I ha I'm overloaded so I have to get somebody else to help me, things like that. So this is one of those situations where I'm overloaded, even though I'm kind of sitting down right now, but I'm overloaded and uh, he's helping me uh, getting things going here. So, sorry for the blinking light too. We gotta get that fixed. But this is one of the things that um, we've talked about on so many occasions about the difference between um, those that take the wrong path and those that don't. And it does boil down to a, a personal choice that we all make, but it also um, is, that choice is based on the person's environment and I understand that. Um, so having that willpower to not make um, a decision that could affect you for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm sorry, having a decision that can affect you um, poorly for the rest of your life. Because every decision may ha affects you, you know. So I want to create more ways to actually um, make sure that people that actually have to, when they go through that choice or they get to that point where they have to make that choice, it's an easy choice to make. You know, look at the choices that are going to benefit you in the long run. What are the ones that are going to cause you problems in the long run and how you can um, improve your situation and your circumstances by making small choices um, that will affect you um, greatly, you know, or affect you in a uh, good way and I think it's very important that we reach back into our communities in one way shape or form whether it's monetarily or time even though time is worth way more than the money that is given especially when it comes to children and um, even especially teenagers going into their 20s and adulthood um, and even further into that um, if we can instill a couple things into them and say hey listen this is the scenario what are you going to do um, on the way down here to the shop, we talked about land purchasing. Uh, if you had the choice between getting a big home and a little and a decent amount of land, like say an acre, two acre, or an, uh, well, half acre to two acre is it actually a decent amount of land, especially in Florida, um, and with a large home, or getting a small home and then getting a large plot of land. Um, meaning you've taken a lot of that, that money that you would have put into getting the home or getting a larger home, down payment and all that, and you flip that or you push that into getting more land as opposed to more home. And what could you do with it? And one thing that um, the gentleman here that's working with me said, he said that um, it would be better to, he can do more with the land so he'd get more land. And you're kind of not wrong or right either way because if you get a larger home, you can have a larger family and that might be the, the route you wanna take. But I felt his answer or I resonated with his answer more because that's what I wanna do. So I would you know, lean towards that, hey, it's right. <laughs> Even though it's not wrong or right, but it's just one that I uh, par with a little bit more. Um, so saying that, but it, what that goes into is the mental, the mind state that um, these kids have and making it to where, making it to where that they, um, they're making these decisions. And he said something that was very important. It was the most logical decision. And that's, that's something that I was very, I was very happy to hear from him. I can't say, pr I, I was proud, but I wasn't, can't say proud in the sense that I made that happen in a sense, but it was, you know, when posed with the question, 
he answered in that fashion because he actually thought about it even though his answer was pretty fast and immediate like he had already thought about it beforehand and that's pretty cool that's like really cool to be around that to be around people that have that mind state and um want to make that type of uh want to make that type of leap uh into the future you know or leap into something unknown so i think it's very important hey make sure you leave that dry so you can walk back out in a second so you can walk back out and just do the barber section and work your way back around here dry no no not dry sweep mop when you mop but I'm saying, like, keep that spot dry because it's going to, like, you're going to have to walk over possibly a wet spot. Okay. So start working into the barber section. Um, but one thing that I talk to a lot of people about is uh, getting into, um, you know, business, doing business first, uh, making that something that makes sense, <sighs> makes sense uh, rather than getting a job. And that's something that I definitely want to impart to more, more kids so that they understand that, hey, listen, you know, you can go and do a cleaning business uh, and make $20, $30, $50 an hour, depending, or even $100 an hour, depending on the size of your crew, even while you sleep. And the next day, you just manage it on a regular basis, take your calls and handle certain things, right? Um, as long as you have people that are dedicated, willing to work, you pay them a decent enough rate and they feel that uh, it's a decent job to where they can keep on going with it. So that's pretty impressive and that's a good thing. Um, I think instilling this mind state into these uh, younger people is probably um, something that could be more important um, for our, us older millennials in the long run and of course the uh gen xers baby boomers and so on and so forth um as we get older because what it's going to do is it can show show up later uh in terms of uh a better community uh more enriched life for ourselves uh because of that better community things that we can enjoy um or even if it's just a uh, a feeling of peace in some sort some fashion so I think that's very important. And I think um, I think I wanna do more of this. Uh, I definitely wanna do more of this. And uh, I don't expect everything to go well for everyone, but I think it's um, something that could be quite beneficial. Be careful, man, it's wet, remember. I think it could be something that's very beneficial for us uh, as a community in the long run, uh, assimilation or not. Well, mostly, most likely assimilation, of course, right? Um, whether it be assim being assimilated or not, or actually having our own little enclave and our own little subculture within the larger society, larger culture. Um, but it is what it is. We'll see what happens. We'll probably be eaten up, but at the same time, um, you know, we can do things that will produce uh, a better result for us and our own individual subculture or our own little subculture, our own little Chinatown, I guess, within American culture. As always, thank you. Goodbye.